Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome to your reading for the week of June 3rd. Uh, this week, we're gonna jump right in here. And you have this divine timing card. It says your angels are working behind the scenes. You have this voice card. It says use your voice could, uh, using your voice could be very lucrative for you. So again, if you're, yeah, if you're thinking about uh, using your voice, I would definitely do it. Or if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel or a podcast or something, I would do it. But this could also say, you know, use your words. So it could be a good time for all of you to make sure you're watching your words, make sure you're using good words against yourself, not, you know, bad words. And, you know, that's what I would do there. Uh, you have the Six of Pentacles, the uh, High Priestess in the Death card. Um, I feel like saying like no assumptions, which is a weird message to get off of those three cards. But, you know, I kind of feel you are imagining something and this is saying that you need to find out, which I feel like I've said to you before, but, um, you know, I think it would be a good time for you to take action instead of just imagining like how something is gonna turn out or just imagining how something is gonna go in your life. I think it would be a good time for you to like actually do it. Um, you show up as a center card here, Aquarius. So the center card is the most important card in the nine card spread. And you're showing up as yourself, which really puts you in a position of power and strength. Uh, you have the six of pentacles here. Uh, six of pentacles is like equal give and take or you know, kind of like cause and effect as well. Just like the justice card, he's holding this scale. And so I feel for a lot of you uh, that you need to pay attention to cause and effect. Um, but I do feel better results from something. We go down through the star uh, to the emperor here. The emperor is telling me that you're ready to take action or you are taking action on you know goals, wishes, dreams, whatever you're trying to create, or it could even be love for some of you. And I feel the six of pentacles is saying you have figured out like where the best place to put your energy is. So this kind of looks a little bit like a breakthrough. I don't know that I'm, I'm I don't know that I'm ready to c completely call this reading a breakthrough yet, but um you know it kind of gives me that feeling of discovering the right actions to take and you know this could be in any area of your life and that's where I feel like this first row is going. By the way, I'm doing a past present future. Uh, you have the high priestess. High priestess is saying like trust your vision. The high priestess, she has no roof over her head and no roof over her head represents unlimited potential. So there is nothing that she can't accomplish if she sets her mind to it. She's a card of like secrets, you know, intuition, mysteries, things like that. But it doesn't, she doesn't say like, don't do anything. She says that, you know, your intuition could be guiding you at this time towards a mystery and you need to dig into it. You need to learn more about it. You need to explore it. And that's what I would do with her. Uh, you have the death card. The death card, of course, can represent a transformation or a big change coming in for you. So I do feel like there could be a big change or transformation uh, coming in at this time. I feel for a lot of you that you're going off on like a new path here. We end with the moon and the moon has a path that didn't work at all, Aquarius. Let's try that again. You end with the moon right here and the moon is has that path straight down the middle. And so I feel for a lot of you uh, that you could be kind of working your way down a path and it could be a mystery because of the moon and the high priestess. So let's see where this is going for you. Uh, with the six of pentacles, you have this discovery card. I would be open to discovery. I mean, again, the moon is a mystery as well. You know, the moon, it's like if you've ever been outside on a full moon, you can see, but there are like shadows all over the place. And that's why the moon kind of represents mysteries as well, or secrets or things that are hidden. And, but they don't have to necessarily be bad things, you know? So I feel this card is saying, be open to discovering what is down that, uh, you know, that the road less traveled, right? And I feel that's where this reading is going is that you are maybe stepping off onto a road less traveled or, or doing something that maybe not a lot of people do or doing something you've never done in life. And that's where, uh, you know, the, your success is gonna come from. With the High Priestess, you have this Enterprise card. Love it. Uh, this is an amazing card for those of you that are starting a new business or that are starting something new. Uh, again, we can be enterprising in any area of our life. You know, and just this just really represents kind of treating something, you know, nurturing something into existence or really kind of giving something a solid, uh, you know, good college try, right? Giving something a solid effort and seeing what the result is. So whatever your dream is, like I said, I think that there's something here that you're thinking about and you need to find out how it's going to turn out with uh, these cards. With the death card, you have this resourcefulness card. I mean, I think we are in a time of resourcefulness. Uh, you're probably not going to have what you need to get started on this right here, the moon. And again, the moon is uncertain. You know, the moon represents uncertainty, not being sure where things are going or not being sure uh, what you're doing. So I do feel that you are going to have to be resourceful on this journey. You might even be starting a journey 
without resources. You know, you might be uh, starting off on, you know, to build a business, but maybe you don't have the resources to do it. Uh, maybe you want love. And again, maybe you don't have the resources uh, to give to love at this time, but you want love. So you're trying to like carve out the time. You know, that's what I feel here. Uh, next in the area of the good stuff, or I mean, um, your uh, present position, you have this truth be told card and this no place like home card. Uh, I feel for a lot of you, the truth will set you free. And so I think that there are times in life where, you know, we don't necessarily lie to ourselves, but in a certain way, like our actions are um, lying to ourselves. So I think if we do things that we hate, for example, then we're kind of like lying to ourselves in a way because we're trying to convince ourselves to stay in something or to continue to do something that we don't want to do. And I feel like this truth be told card is saying that things will open up for you like once you uh, stop doing things that you don't really want to do in life. And I know that's easier said than done, but you know, how can you uh, change a situation or how can you get out of a situation uh, that isn't, you know, ideal? And I think that's what this card is asking. I would also say that I feel like some of you could be learning a truth at this time, and I'm not sure where that's going, so we're, we might come back to that. Uh, you have the Ten of Wands, the Star, and the Temperance card. You have the Ten of Wands, and again, too many responsibilities. I think that some of you need to remove responsibilities so that you can see things clearly. You know, so if you're taking on responsibilities from other people, or if you're um, taking care of other people's BS or whatever in life, I kind of feel this is saying it's time for you to you know, kind of like take back control a little bit and to do more of the things that you want to do. I think it's time for you to like protect your energy as well with the Ten of Wands. So sometimes I think we are, you know, like overburdened in life by other people's garbage. <laughs> and uh, that's where I'm going with this. Like, I feel like this is saying it's time for you to focus on your own life and that will free you up. You have, you end with this card that says freedom is yours. But I sometimes I also think we distract ourselves. Like I'm not calling you out. I know I say this every reading Aquarius, but I'm not calling you out. But I think sometimes we burden ourselves with other people's stuff so that we don't have to focus on our own stuff. And I really, the, really the message I'm getting here is that it's time for you to focus on yourself right now. And so I like I think it would be a really good time to pull your energy back, right? And so that you can focus on the things that you want to do and also focus on like things like healing. We have the star here. You know, the star is your card. This puts you in a position of power and strength, really allows you to get what you want from the reading. But this card kind of is a card of like hope, faith, and renewal. Renewal is the key word here for you. I think you need to take time to you know, take time for yourself. I think you need time to like rest, relax, recover, heal yourself, um, recharge your batteries. Like all that other good stuff is coming up with the star card. I also, you know, the star is like having a North Star, having a big goal, wish, or dream that you set out to accomplish. And I think it would be an amazing time for you to like accomplish something big with the star card or to accomplish something that you've always wanted to accomplish, you know, some sort of goal, wish, or dream. And, you know, the star is about having like a center focus, having one thing that you focus on and not a bunch of other people's stuff that you focus on. So I think it's time for you to work on something big right now, Aquarius. Uh, you have the temperance card. Temperance says you can easily turn your situation around. It gives me a little bit of that breakthrough energy like I was talking about. So I do feel that there could be a little bit of a breakthrough here. Again, I still would like to see more dramatic cards here, like the tower. And you might be saying, oh my God, the tower is a bad card, but really it's not. Um, and sometimes we need a tower to have a breakthrough. And again, if you have the tower, it wouldn't even matter. You have a star. So, you know, you'd be perfectly fine. But what I would say here is that, again, that would give me more of that kind of breakthrough type of energy. Although I still kind of feel it on the temperance card. It's like you're actively trying to turn your situation around, which is, you know, obviously a good thing. So let's see here, Aquarius. Uh, with the Ten of Wands, you have this versatility card. Yeah, this is a card of being flexible and kind of like staying open to all the ways there are to do things. There, We do have certain responsibilities in life that we cannot avoid. So this versatility card says, you know, are there ways you can get other people to help you? Or are there ways you can, you know, make something easier for you to do or less complicated or less of a burden? And that's what I would be looking at with this energy for sure. Uh, with the um, star, you have the choice card. Yeah, I feel you have a choice at this moment. Uh, the choice for you is probably either to go towards the moon or towards the emperor. Uh, I actually feel like they're both good choices <laughs> in a lot of ways. But, um, you know, I do feel like this is saying, that it would be a good time. I actually kind of feel like they're connected in a weird way, but it's like a choice between your old life and a new life. It's like, you know, I'm wondering if there's a road that you've been down before. You know, I'm wondering if that, I'm, I'm wondering if this reading is really saying that the breakthrough is gonna come through the road less traveled for you here, Aquarius, doing something unique, different, 
something that sets you apart or just not repeating something as well. Uh, with the temperance card, you have this birth card. Yeah, if you're not trying to get pregnant, I would be careful. Very fertile year. I mean, all the yearly readings I've done <laughs> have been about pregnancy and stuff like that. Obviously, if you can't get pregnant, this isn't for you. Uh, but this could also be you birthing uh, new directions or new new things in your life. And I think it's a great time. Uh, June, the entire month of June is just great for you know any new projects, any new businesses, uh, moving, traveling, going to new places, anything new, right, is going to be highlighted. Uh, next in the area of the future, you have this horse spirit says freedom is yours. You have this uh, fox spirit that says think on your feet. Yeah, you're probably going to have to think on your feet. Uh, the fox is also about blending into the energy of what you want. You know, it, it says, can you match the energy of the things that you desire? Or can you look, can you appear at, in your act as if? you are the thing that you want to be. That's where the freedom will come from. I also feel that, you know, again, to be more of the energy that you want to be, you have to be less of the energy that you don't want to be. So that truth be told card is saying, it's time for uh, for Aquarius, sorry, uh, to start living their truth. It's time for you to live in truth. And it's not about lying or telling a lie or anything. It's more about you living the life that you want to live or doing the things you want to do. Uh, you have the moon, the two of pentacles and the emperor. Again, the moon is, I feel, the road less traveled in your reading. I think it's saying that you are kind of on this journey that is, um, you know, maybe not clear or maybe you're uncertain of where you're going or maybe you're uncertain of the direction. But I do feel this is like kind of part of your journey that you're on. And yeah, like I would pick the road less traveled. Yeah, yes, um, maybe you don't know the answers. That's the whole point of the moon. But the moon, the other point of the moon is that the moon comes up, the sun, moon goes down, the sun comes up. So, you know, again, I think for a lot of you, um, this is saying, you know, the moon is meant to be temporary. Uh, you have the two of pentacles. Two of pentacles, work hard, play hard, but I also feel it's balancing your energy. So like I said, 10 of wands, it's clear to me in this reading, Aquarius, that there, that you could be distracting yourself with, um, you know, other people's stories, other people's BS, other people's, you know, whatever the case may be. And I feel this is saying, once you release that and you focus, make yourself your own center of attention, I think that's where the success will come from. Uh, you have the emperor. The emperor is about taking control and taking the lead in your life. So I feel for a lot of you that you are going to be really taking the lead in your life and kind of like making things happen. So the emperor is a card of great success. And I kind of feel like you, you are creating more success in your life. I do feel like with this and that fox spirit that it could be a good time for you to balance out your like masculine energy. Like maybe, but I feel like you need more masculine energy or something like that. I'm just talking about the energy. I'm not talking about a man, you know? So I think that some of you maybe need to embrace a little bit more of that action-taking, action-oriented, goal-oriented type of energy, especially with the uh, star card. Uh, with the moon... You have this practicality card, like have a, a practical plan, right? So I think the simple answer is the best answer. I this I think this is true for everyone. I think the universe wants us to keep things, you know, straightforward, simple, to the point right now. So if you are working towards anything, I think like the simple answer is probably the right answer. And that's definitely what I would focus on here. Uh, with the two of pentacles, you have this extremism card. Yeah, I feel like there are people that are like... Um, in your life that are saying like, oh my God, if you quit this job, you're going to be poor for the rest of your life. Or, you know, there are people that are probably telling you like, oh my God, if you, if you leave me, uh, you're never going to find someone like that's as good to me as me again, you know? So I get that type of energy of like people telling you things, but it's like really you're the price in this situation. So I think that this is saying that you need to start treating yourself like you are the prize, Aquarius. And maybe you haven't been. Ten of Wands. You know, that Ten of Wands really stands out to me in your reading. Normally, I really just don't care about the Ten of Wands. It's like, sure. You know, to me, the Ten of Wands is a good card. It, he is about to reach his home. He's about to have his harvest. So really, to me, the Ten of Wands is a good card. But, you know, normally, it's not like the most important card in a reading. Uh, I kind of feel like it is in your reading. I think it's talking about all these different things you are experiencing you know, all these energies from other people and it's just saying protect your energy. But also if people are telling you how great they are, it's like people who are really great don't have to tell you how great they are. You know, it's obvious. It, it's written all over their face, right? The results speak for themselves. And I feel like that's what this is saying. So it's like saying, be careful of people who have to tell you stuff. Uh, with the uh, Emperor, you have the Rebellion card. I feel like you're rebelling against, you know, control. So a, a lot of you, again, uh, through truth, you are setting yourself free. It's almost like through truth, 
you are having a breakthrough that sets you free or something like that. And, you know, this might look like you kind of going against other people's wishes or, you know, people might be saying like, oh, I'm so great, you know, blah, 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 whatever the hell they're talking about. And so I think that for a lot of you, you're kind of having maybe a victory or a win because you're setting yourself free. You have this fair woman, it says dealings with relationships with a woman of blonde, gray or white hair. And then you have this boat, it says money or property through an inheritance, winning or windfall. Love it. <laughs> this could be you getting money through uh, some sort of winning or winning in life. And because you're winning in life, you're increasing your finances. Uh, you have this rooster card and you can't make this up. It says an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. So yeah, I would just ignore the, ignore this person. I think when we deal with people who have you know a toxic ego, uh, that we should just ignore them because that's like the best thing to possibly that you possibly could do uh, with those people. And yeah, that's what I'll say there. I think that you could be dealing with a person who's like telling you how great they are, but it's like truly great people don't have to tell you anything. So you know, I would avoid this person if you have a person like that. You have this fair man card. It says dealings uh, dealings or relationships with a man with blonde, gray, or white hair. Uh, you have this, and then you have this opportunity windfall right here. I didn't even notice that. That's amazing. You could be meeting a person, you know, where the two of you together like create a windfall or have windfall energy. So I would say this is clearly a new person. I don't like this card. It reminds me of Dwight in the office. Like, I don't know if anyone's seen that episode where they draw a picture of Dwight, but uh, that's what this card reminds me of. But at the same time, again, I think you could be attracting like new energy, new people who, are, you know, clearly this is like some sort of windfall because of that person. Uh, you have this spiritual guidance, protection from harm card. So you are protected at this time. Uh, you also have this card that says hidden secrets can harm you. What do you know? I think that it's a time of truth for Aquarius. I don't, that doesn't mean you have to like tell the truth or anything. I'm not, that's not what I'm getting at, but I think it's a time to live your truth. And this is saying, you know, again, if you're living a life you don't want, then you are having a secret. So I think it's time to start living the life you want. And that will lead to a windfall apparently. So this looks amazing. I actually like where this is going. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.